To create a pattern in Photoshop, it's relatively easy. Um, I found this swatch of uh, a pattern that I want to use, and I'm just going to download this now. So I'm actually just going to copy it. I'm going to click Copy Image, and I'm going to paste it into Photoshop. I'm going to come to Photoshop and click File, New. I'm going to create a new document. Now I'm just going to make this document any size. The clipboard size is fine if you want to do that. Uh, and then I'm just going to paste my image in there. So what you need to be careful of when you're creating a pattern is that you select from the same point to the same point. For, uh, like, So in other words, if I'm creating a rectangle, I'm going to start here in the center of this nose. I'm going to click. I'm going to go to the center of the nose over here, and then I'm going to come down, make sure I'm in the center of this nose here. So I'm going to then define that as a pattern. So I go to uh, Edit, Define Pattern, and I'm going to call this Skulls. Click OK. So now that I have my pattern defined, I can go to File, New, and just create a new document that's 8.5 by 11. Give this a second here. OK. Now, uh, I'm going to make a standard print size of 8.5 by 11 letter. Now I want my resolution to be 300. I'm going to click Create. Now I'm going to use my pattern to fill this. I'm going to go to Edit, Fill. And I'm going to click on Content, would be Pattern. I'm going to select my new pattern that I just created. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to fill my background with that pattern. So if you can't find something that you uh, that you want to use that has enough space on it, say I want to use this pattern, and over here all I could find is this tiny little swatch, then you can easily create that pattern uh, to cover an entire document, just like I just showed you. You can also paint with the pattern if you come over here and use the pattern stamp tool. And uh, I'm just going to paint over the top of this pattern using a different pattern. This was one that I already had. And as you can see up here at the top, you can change the, the type of pattern that you're using. And then you can just use this as a brush and brush that pattern in. And that's how easy it is to create patterns.